Now let's look at this figure 21-69, and it uh, basically deals with listing, uh, marking, and documentation uh, in accordance with NEC 505.9ABC and as well as 505.4 in the NEC. And we have an example here of these markings. Uh, and of course, you know, this is figure 505.9C2 informational note. And notice we have the example. And this is the area of classification. It's class one, zone zero. So you know the vapors there for a thousand hours or more. But we can put this equipment in a class one, zone zero area. And then we have a symbol for equipment built to American standards. It has the A ahead of the EX. The EX, of course, is in uh, Europe, uh, t uh, maybe where this equipment might, might have been manufactured, for example. And the A shows, yes, they manufactured it to the American standards, say UL, ETL, whatever. And then the types of protection designation, it's IA. Now, remember, we looked at all that, uh, those types of equipment that we looked at in 505, I believe it's 505.9B, I believe it was, but it's right in that area. And then notice uh, the material group was 2C, and we looked at the groups and compared those uh, groups of, uh, uh, you know, 1C, 2C, 3C to, uh, to our groups A, B, C, and D uh, in the divisions. And then the temperature classification is T6. So you could put it in a, a, a temperature area that fell under the table of your T code letters, which is T6. Now, this is a type of markings that will be on the equipment if it's manufactured, like in Europe, for example, and showing that it does meet the standards of the United States so the authority having jurisdiction can look at 110.3B as in boy and C as in car in the NEC and approve the equipment by 500.8A. And that's what this illustration, 21-69, is illustrating to the user of the NEC.